All right, a quick presentation here on map scales, uh, just to help you understand, get you ready for any tests that you might have on these, and help you read maps a little bit better. So some common scales that you'll see on maps are verbal scale, ratio scale, and a graphical scale. Most of you have seen these before. But the verbal scale just tells you that any unit on the map is equal to some unit in real life. So if we measure, in this case, one inch on our map, then that represents three miles in real life. Ratio scale is similar to the verbal scale, but we need the same units to be able to create the ratio scale, and I'll go into that in more detail later, but essentially it just says one of any unit that you measure on the map, so if you measure in centimeters or inches or whatever, it doesn't matter, it equals 300,000 of those units that you measured in real life. And the graphical scale, if you measure that the length of that bar or the line uh, like on the top one you get 0 to 10 miles so if you measure that distance on your map you should get 10 miles in real life alright so ratio form just want to emphasize a couple things again remember ratio form is unitless in order to derive it you need to use the same units but then and in the end when you have your ratio scale it's good for any unit that you use so anything you measure like inches or centimeters on your map it should equal so, so many inches or centimeters in real life alright so how is this done here's our bar scale so we see that that distance is 0 to 12 kilometers if we measure it it comes out to be 3 inches so our verbal scale would say 3 inches equals 12 kilometers but we don't want verbal scale in this case we want to convert to ratio scale so some of you might be tempted to do this where you just write 3 to 12 but that's a problem because one we didn't use the same units to derive it so we used inches and kilometers instead of just inches or kilometers and another one is that your, ra your ratio form should always be 1 to something and not like 3 to something or 2 to something Alright, so just some things to think about, and that is completely wrong, so don't write it like that. And that's a picture of a dinosaur. Okay, so this is how we actually do it right. So again, same setup, 3 inches is 12 kilometers. Uh, so what we want to do is make sure that we do it right by making these into the same unit. So we need to convert either inches to kilometers or kilometers to inches. Now inches to kilometers is probably less intuitive than kilometers to inches, so we're going to convert kilometers to inches. So in order to get to kil from kilometers to meters, I multiply by a thousand because there's a thousand meters for every kilometer. And then in order to get to centimeters, I multiply by a hundred because there's a hundred centimeters in every meter. And then in order to get to inches, I divide by 2.54 because there's 2.54 centimeters for every inch. And if I multiply and divide, I get 472,441. And so again, we might be tempted to write our ratio scale like this, but we would be wrong because we don't want it three to something, we want it one to something. So think of it like an equation, like you've always been taught. So how could we get our three to equal one? Well, we could divide by three. So what do we do? We do that, and then we need to do it to the same to the other side as well. So that's wrong, but if we divide the answer that we did get by 3, then we should get our answer. So our answer is 157,480, so that's our correct ratio. Alright, one other way to think about this really quick is instead of dividing by 3 at the end, we can just chop up our bar scale into three sections. So if we measure instead of three inches, we just measure one inch from the beginning. It's a really easy calculation with this because we have 12 kilometers and one third of 12 is four. So one inch equals four kilometers. So all we have to do now is convert our four kilometers instead of our 12 kilometers from before. So again, we multiply by a thousand, we multiply by a hundred and we divide by 2.54 and we get the correct answer 157,480 so our ratio scale is 1 to 157,480 and again just to emphasize this it's unitless it does, so you can use now that you've 
got your ratio scale you can use any unit on your map um, so you could use centimeters inches feet whatever you want to measure in on your map and it will represent that many of that same unit in real life so I hope that helps you good luck